Welcome to the Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to actually access the advanced boot option menu in Windows 8. Um, one thing a lot of you might notice is that when you start in Windows 8, um, most of you people don't have any options or you know pressing F8 or um, you just might be just baffled at how do you boot from a USB thumb drive with a image file or maybe from a DVD. Well that is available in the advanced boot options and to get there all you have to do is go into your charms bar and click the search and just type boot and here you'll see change advanced startup options. If you click here you'll see there's refresh your PC, there's remove everything and reinstall Windows, but there's this part, very important, advanced startup. Here you will have startup from a device such as a USB or drive, a DVD, uh, change your PC's firmware setting and so on. So below the advanced startup, you'll click restart now. I won't do it here because if I do it, of course, I'm doing a screen recording, so it's going to stop. But I've managed to get what will be probably closely what resembles your own restart screen after that. It's going to be blue once the computer restarts, and it's going to look like this. You'll have something that resembles. It's not the same for everybody. It depends on the computer you have but one of the options will be continue so it means that it's going to exit and continue to Windows 8. You will be able to click use a device so you'll see this icon in that square the disk or USB thumb drive icon and it's use a USB drive a network connection or a Windows recovery DVD. You'll be able to click troubleshoot which will refresh or reset your PC or use advanced option. By the way this troubleshoot menu will bring you another blue menu with other options. One of the options is the system restore. If you need to access the system restore for some uh, you know, reason out of Windows, then you will be able to get to the system restore through this troubleshoot option. You will be able of course to refresh your PC. Refresh is that new way of uh, saying basically reformat the computer. Uh, but refresh comes in two versions. There's a refresh with ke that keeps your files and programs, and there's a refresh that actually erases everything, which is a real reformatting and reinstalling of Windows, basically. So everything is here in that option. So all you have to do, once again, is simply go to search, type boot, click the change advanced startup options, and just click the restart now, below the advanced startup and you'll be able to do just that boot from a DVD or USB drive. Now if you have a laptop or a desktop computer from a brand name there are some computers that I will actually do that without having you to go into this option. For example I have a Toshiba. When I boot my computer, my Toshiba computer, if I press F12 when I see Toshiba and on some other Toshiba, by the way, it's F2, um, you will actually have the inner menu of the Toshiba computer's BIOS that will actually ask you, do you want to boot from a DVD, USB thumb drive, and so on, which is even, um, you know, it's totally out of Windows and um, might be uh, also an interesting option for you. So that's how you do it. It's very easy. And hopefully if you're looking for a way to boot off a thumb drive or a USB key or maybe just, you know, troubleshoot your machine using the tools uh, and the system restore from here, um, hopefully this is going to help you have a good working computer. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a video, there's something you'd like us to talk about. Of course, you can ask and we'll try to help you and uh, maybe even make a video to help others. And um, if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. You'll be informed when new videos are online. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.